This is a video to help you use your TI Spy effectively for the, the counters up and down um, activity. Uh, so we need a spreadsheet actually to try and come to a particular conclusion. So if I go and open the spreadsheet, and here I'm going to just type in, this is going to be black, and I'm going to just type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's easy enough. Um, over here, I'm going to type in first number 32, and you can type in the next 34, 36. But I can see it's going up in a pattern. It's going to add 4 to the number above. So spreadsheets are powerful because you can type in a formula. The formula has to start with equals, because that's what you're going to type in there. So equals, then you have to reference the number 32. Instead of typing 32, you're going to type in um, the cell that actually contains 32, and that's B1. So you can just type in B1, B1, and then it's just plus 4. And when you press enter, it adds 4 onto it. Now, of course, that's a quite a tedious way. I can't type that into all of these. But you can now copy down this formula for as many cells as you actually want. And so the way to do that quickly, you can point to the bottom right-hand corner and drag down, easy on a computer, a bit fiddly on the actual handheld. So if you click on this cell, and then above the menu is a, a, a blue menu. Press Control menu, and you see an option to fill. Click. And it's already ready to fill this highlighted blue cell as far down as you want. So I could go down to 6 easily enough. But actually, I'm going to keep going down. Notice the formula down here. It says in here equals B5 plus 4. Well, B5 here is the cell above. So it just keeps adding 4 to the cell above and just keeps going down. I'm going to do that again and again, actually. Um, and I'm going to go back and do the same for here. So the formula in here is equals the cell above, which is the value in A1, which is 1. So you type in A1, and this one is just easy, plus 1. And then click on here. So I'm not copying down the number 2, I'm copying down the formula. The formula says keep adding 1 on to the cell above. Uh, these things, A1 is called cell, C-E-L-L. -L. Um, so control, menu, fill. The blue is waiting to be filled, it's highlighted, so fill it down as far as you want. And I'm just going to keep going down. Just for the fun of it. So this is a quick way of filling up your first column with numbers going up in one. And then do the same with this column here, because for this one, highlight in blue, control, menu, fill, and then just point down as far as it'll go. And I'm gonna keep it down to what well, as far as you want it really. I'm gonna keep the endpoints quite even. So 31 for black, that's 152. And then the red over here is, uh, oh, that was the red. This is the blue now. The blue starts at 4, and the blue goes up by 5 each time. So in here equals the cell above, which is C1. And C1, and this now goes up by, over here it's going up by 5, so plus 5. Now click on the cell you want to highlight and co copy it down. And the copy down is the fill menu which is here, which is fill, and just go all the way down until you've got them lined up at the bottom. And we're actually just looking in this table of values now to see if there's any crossover points. Okay. And I think we've just found it, look. So when black is 29, uh, this is red, and this is blue. So actually we can see clearly that when black is 29, Red's 144, and blue's 144. So that's just effective use of spreadsheets, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, but we can do something else, and we can visualize this. So the visual would be to actually insert a graph and see what that might look like. Uh, and one way we're going to do that is by going to Dock, Insert. Now, it's tempting to insert a graph, but if you think back to your Usain Bolt activity, when we have data in the spreadsheet, we use the data and statistics to plot the graph. So that's going to plot the data points. So on the x-axis, we want the black. And on the y-axis, we want the red first, which is kind of what you expect. yeah. And then we also want uh, the blue on there. Now notice it doesn't look like there's any difference between the red and the blue. The scale's changing every time you toggle between the red and the blue. So I'd like to see them both on there. So we can go to Menu. Uh, plot properties, and we can add a Y variable. So when we add a Y variable, we've already got blue on there, we want to add the red. 
and you can see there it is. That's not as great detail here. We could just change the scale a little bit and see what's going on. Uh, because these points are so big, you can't really see exactly where they cross over. Um, uh, one way of getting around that is actually to think about drawing a graph and then plotting the function that represents this data set and plotting the function that represents this data set here. I'll leave that up to you to figure out.